I'm gonna hit the lights. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, you're probably sitting in a. Am I sitting I think, in a, I think in that's a fine. feedback position? I think you're Not a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So. Um, okay. So I, I started um, some workshops in India. Uh, I started this in India. Um, my friend Meryl, uh, who ran a, a yoga studio in in North and South India, and um, she, I, I was uh, a frustrated musician to some degree. Um, I, th I, with my band, I would play around with uh, vocal stuff. They, we, everyone in my band was from Reading, which, if you don't know, is a suburb, which is extraordinarily street, street little suburb. And uh, I had this little studio with like a freaky little piano out of tune, and I, I was encouraging them, them, all my members of my band, to freak out. So we were trying to get them to do some kind of Sun Ra stuff. Does anybody know Sun Ra, the wonderful musician, yeah. who believed he was from Mars? I can't remember which one. Um, yeah, we, and um, and we got some interesting stuff out of it. And uh, yeah, so I came to India having lost my job. An arch center of capitalism had crushed the, the last strains of culture uh, in some places in England, and uh, I was frustrated. And uh, I went to a Rinpoche's uh, talk in Damsara in, in northern India, and this Rinpoche gave me this wonderful feeling. He said uh, that art is as important, if not more, than anything else in your life. And uh, suddenly I was like, whoa! There's, there's somebody who supports my frame of mind, my way of thinking. And uh, there were very few people in positions of power in England who were in the same ballpark. And so I just started to uh, consider this and create my own sort of artistic reaction to um, the, the idea of, uh, of culture and art and uh, develop this sing workshop. And, uh, yeah, there's a game, there's lots of games in there I play which are based around um, contact improvisation and um, and some some useful things that are very mainstream within singing. And then I went to India again, in North, southern India, and I met this very powerful Russian who said, you must find the power of Om. And I said, whoa, okay, well I will listen to her. And uh, so I was collecting these little vignettes, these little bits of useful singing information that I could use for myself and pass them on to other people, like yourselves. And uh, she would really push us straight through the, the channel, push us into very high notes, and I would just kept on going, no, you must go la, la, higher, higher, higher. And I was like, no, no, please, I'm, gonna, I'm not an opera singer, I'm a bass. <laughs> As you can hear, I bet my, my voice is a bass to some degree. In fact, some people say 100%. But uh, yeah, you, um, I started to play again with what, what I was doing. And uh, yeah, it, it's been a very interesting, very interesting journey. And uh, the workshops I do for your voice, up at Den, which is a lovely space with a view of the river, are uh, an uh, uh, artistic practice. They're about forgetting about your mobile phone. So, for example, first thing I would like you to do is detach yourself from your mobile phone. Would you be able to do that? Can you overcome the fear? Can you turn off your mobile phone? Let's see. Who's going to turn off their phone? Morning. <laughs> Can you detach yourself from that? It's quite a handy thing to be able to do in your life, as uh, we're constantly attached to it. Those algorithms are now playing with your brain. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But yeah, you're at the algorithm, because it's, it's, got, it's got in there, right? Your Facebook account is, uh, is a clever little thing, right? And it, and it gets got, got to you, and all your social networks buzzing away in your brain. Your monkey mind is playing with you constantly. And your Facebook account is making it like a double power of monkey mind. So let's turn that off, okay? So you don't play. Don't um, and we're just um, going to start with some disinformation. We're going to, you know, we are 
we are plowed with information all the time, constantly with left, right, center. So we're just going to play with uh, a nice uh, theater practice, okay? And it's Chibush. Chibush. So, I would like you, if you're alone, you can do it on your own. <laughs> but I would like you to turn to the person next to you. Uh, yeah. uh, turn to the person next to you and start to just release your disinformation, okay? So, go start going, but it doesn't really actually, um, it's not that difficult, basically. And it makes you look silly, but that's, uh, that's it. And, okay, so we're just going to do this. Quite gently, quite gently. So we're going to go down from the, from the bottom, from the face, to the top, but we're still going to be doing this. So. you to sing your favorite song but only but doing it like that so your favorite song any song you like well, we can do the same song if you like we can do um uh what should we do uh, what should i do with a drunken sailor <laughs> getting 
your chords, your vocal chords, and this, all this around here, which uh, is really un unrehearsed and unpracticed, um, getting to work together. So your, vo your, your, your vocal chords and your, and your, li your lungs and your diaphragm all need to speak to each other. So on a regular basis. So you, you're doing that. So a little bit more. <laughs> I don't need to be here anymore. This is good. I don't need to be um, <laughs> we can have the Tupani Orchestra. Great. And now I just want you to do from side to side. Maybe you've had a long day. I've had a long day. Uh, let's do this. going to do the omelette, <laughs> as, <laughs> as I managed to call it, um, and the <laughs> omelette. So uh, it's, called, uh, it's called Take from the Earth and Give to the Sky, uh, essentially, translation. And uh, this wonderful Russian lady uh, in, on, on the beach in Goethe who taught me this, um, I, I, I took away other things which I will never do again, but this one was not painful. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was not a, an, an opera singer, so yeah. Uh, well, I never found out I could be a bass. I, I think I know I can be a bass. But anyway, um, so we're going to do yeah that, and we'll start with E. E. Obviously, not everyone is down there, right? So yeah, do your own version. You can go be a bit higher, whatever's comfortable for you. Okay, whatever's comfortable. Whatever is comfortable for you. Yeah. Good. And then we're going to go nice, so that your teeth are wide like that. Yeah. And then we're going to so that's our take from the earth, and then we're going to give to the sky. Okay. So, on top of that, I would like you to close your eyes. So this is more meditative uh, practice. You may, if you are happy uh, where you are, then be where you are. <laughs> if you cross your leg where you are, if you want to s sit uh, with your hands on hands on your uh, thighs, that's great. If uh, probably easier not to move. And yeah, so we're gonna do this for about eight minutes. I've turned off my phone, so I don't know how long it's gonna be. Oh well. So uh, for as long as uh, it's comfortable. And uh, but maybe John can tell us. About eight minutes. Off. Yeah, I see it. I see it back here, though. Yeah. We yeah. Can okay. So we'll do about eight minutes, and um, yeah, and we'll have a pause after that where you kind of recover because that's you. This is your first time for a long time, probably, where your voice is. You've really woken up your voice and woken up this vessel, this instrument, which is sitting there dormant some of the time, although you use it every time. Or to s you open your mouth and speak, you're t speaking a melody, and you're you obviously, which is, uh, we've been making music before you were speaking, as uh, John so rightly pointed out in Australia, you know, the Aborigines were pinpointing the nearest hill by the undulations of your voice. So, we're going to play, uh, we're not going to play much with it, but we're just going to do it, okay? So, uh, let's go, and we'll start with the E. And hand movement is very useful for reminding yourself of where you are in the E and O. Okay, so. E
deep breath in. Oh. 